Hey, I'm Ben Morse from the AMP team. We're live here at AMP Conference 2018, right here in Amsterdam. It's been a big day full of some exciting announcements, some major news. Let's see some of the highlights. Today we're launching both a developer preview on, on AMP site and there's going to be surfacing of these stories in Google Search. So I'm also really excited to announce today that we're releasing the AMP Toolbox Optimizer, which is basically a toolkit that developers can use to optimize AMP documents served from their origin. I'm super excited to announce that AMP is in fact coming to email. So imagine that you could complete tasks directly inside of your, your email. So with AMP for email, users can quickly take actions on things like RSVPing to an event, Now, as we do with many new experimental features in AMP, we've collaborated with publishers to help innovate in this space with the goal of building a stories format for rich storytelling. By bringing AMP to email, we open up a whole new world of possibilities for what, what can happen inside of email and a whole world of possibilities for users to engage with your content. So one of the biggest initiatives has been to expand AMP experiences from just organic to paid as well. And last year, the AdWords team launched their AMP experience where clicking on ads will now lead you to AMP pages. Overall development time and workflow was just way easier having the full AMP site and just the one source of truth for the site. So, for example, bringing it back again to my time working on BuzzFeed, the article pages, comparing it to Tasty, uh, the build time we see 85% faster build time, the Webpack build. But we want to allow all of you to write JavaScript in your AMP documents. So all this JavaScript will run in a web worker. And those were some highlights from day one of AMPConf. To see more of the talks in more detail, just subscribe to the AMP channel. And tune in tomorrow for live coverage of day two. Thanks a lot.